These teams learn the hard way that you should never take your foot off the pedal when victory is within touching distance. Here are the biggest comebacks in Call of Duty history. Optic Gaming faced E United in the grand finals of CWL Vegas 2019. The Green Wall got off to a rough start in Map 1 as Arsities and Co. began to take over. Those score streaks, you still have that lightning strike, and what a game out of Arsities. 29 and 11 from him. So he comes into this game with the number one overall KD in hardpoint. Trailing by over 100 points, Optic would need to play perfect Call of Duty if they were to have any chance of winning the map. So they did. They've got to be perfect. They've got to be perfect. Abizi's on the hill. He needs a couple more seconds, but Optic are there. Looking at Specialist, Placer's close. Placer is very close to another Tempest. Dash able to find one. Finds it! That's a lightning strike as well. Streaks now in. Streaks now in for Optic. Are you kidding me? A team kill does come through, but the lightning strike's gonna follow it up. What can he connect on? It's actually gonna pick up Scrub. He, he got, got two! He got well. two of his teammates! His teammates are gonna drop, but you still have the hero Crim6 inside. His teammates there. They now just need 13 more points. Plenty of time to hold on. They're spawning out. The Tempest is in. Optic Gaming looks like they're gonna do it. It looks like they're gonna do it. Three seconds remaining. Get off the map. They've done it. The comeback is alive and well. Chicago Huntsman were down 0-5 to Minnesota Rocker at CDL Dallas 2020. With Huntsman's key man envoy only on one kill, things look disastrous for the squad. This is a very convincing game of Search and Destroy from the Minnesota Rocker. You mentioned a few rounds prior that they looked like a well-oiled machine. Probably the best way of explaining this team right now. Despite the slow start, Huntsman strung a few rounds together as Envoy single-handedly took over the game and sealed the comeback with a cheeky ninja defuse. 50 seconds to go, still 4v4 and everyone from Minnesota Rockers in the A site. Alex will find one. Arsties goes down. Is this now the potential opening Minnesota Rocker need to close out this game? Outside control, the bomb is going to get planted. Now the deal is on the Huntsman to try to get this retake. Gunless pushing a pop with the M4, wins the opening fight. Not quite sure how, I'm going to be honest, Chance, but Gunless levels the playing field 3v3. I can't believe it. And boy, you've been a hero throughout the entire game. He's on the bomb to defuse Minnesota Rucker. You've got to check it. Full sale happens again from 5 0 down. Chicago Huntsman wins six in a row. You don't see it very often, but welcome back to the Call of Duty League. I believe i cannot believe we just witnessed that at cwl champs 2019 100 thieves were two nil down in the series and two nil down in the third map against phase clan but after 100 t clinched a round back in the control octane and priestar pulled off this ridiculous clutch to give their squad a glimmer of hope look how close they are from finishing this grab slam and clear it the grab slam comes in priestar what is that kill Priesta gets it, the contest once again in for Zuma. If he just barely gets out, but Priesta gets the kill. And somehow, 100 Thieves get the round win. A two versus seven, Priesta. What is that? It's aggressive, him. I it thought wasn't Octane, it go huge. I thought he was dead twice. Priesta is nuts. Nade Shot's men won maps three and four, pushing the game to a fifth and final map where they completed one of the most impressive reverse sweeps in COD history. Another player invents, that's a scene. Slasher's gonna take the one-on-one. -on -one. It's all on this retake. Kenny's gonna catch him, numbers 100 thieves again. It all rests with Selium. He dropped in the reverse sweep for 100 thieves. Optic are back to steal the show once again. This time, it was Splice on the receiving end after they created what seemed an unsurmountable deficit. But it just wasn't enough to stop the power of the green wall. They're gonna get the win, Krim. If you're gonna go, you gotta go now. Looney on the defense, but Optic are in. They managed to get the flush out. 25 seconds left. They're holding on for dear life. Dare I say it? It is possible. It is possible. The green wall now need to push as one. They cannot let anything go. The tag fight boost has been enabled. This is their time. Crim6 finds the first. Can they find the second? They're pushing through. TJ slides in. And we're going to see Looney disperse of him. Looney finds the double dish. Dashing Crim6. Comer exchanges back and forth. And my goodness, Optic Gaming. They're in the hard point. They're 30 seconds away. Make it 20. The score streak's raining down. And TJ, he goes for. And we're going to see an absolute massacre. Splice, they're not done yet. They're making their way forward. A final few points. Looney in from behind. He's going to find one. 
Can they find any more? A matter of seconds now, 10 points for the win for Optic to pull this one back. Looney trying to make the play from behind, in from the front. He's gonna get stuffed. Krim's gonna get it done. Oh my Sam, goodness, he can't contested. do it. Contested, contested, 247 apiece. Who's gonna get it? The time is ticking, but still 20 seconds. Krim, 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 Krim. Krim. Oh my God. Is there anything more exciting than an uplink comeback? At MLG Anaheim in Black Ops 3, Optic had a mountain to climb halfway through their uplink game against Rise Nation. Down 0-11, Scump, Formal, Karma and Crim6 pulled off one of the greatest comebacks you will ever see at a tournament. We've got ourselves a one-point game! Karma getting the kill top middle. He's gonna go ahead, grab his objective, but there's no, no one there to watch Oh, he gets oh, away! Man. How did he just get around the corner? Oh, he's gonna do it! Oh. He turns around! The, the lightning! Yeah, right. The lightning into play! Optic Gaming will take no the way. lead! Oh! <laughs> what?! Are we they can't, I, I don't think I've seen a member of Optic Gaming go down in, in the last minute of this game. Well, now the drone picked and up. Slack has camo. Oh, no. The He's one. got active camo the to the game. He no, missed it. He missed. No. And it's stuck on top of the map. That's a 50 second Oh, reason. no. You cannot. It's a full collapse. Rise Nation throw the game away. And Optic Gaming will take the 3-0 sweep. In dramatic fashion. At the CDL 2021 Stage 4 Major, Dallas Empire began to run away with the hard point against Toronto Ultra. Empire had 247 points, so surely there was no hope of a comeback. Fresh hard point is up. The lead disappearing before our eyes as Ultra. What a comeback this would be. Six in a row for Insight. Can he get the streak? Not going to happen. But his teammates picking up the scraps. The super subs going big on the point. Crim's got around. Crim's making a play right now. He was all the way through. It's only 10 seconds though. Inside out spawn. This is a huge one on one. Just trying to buy his teammates time. The rest time. of his teammates drop. Sh the rest of his shots. teammates drop. It's just Crim. It's just Crim. 247. 247. And Ultra bring it back. Take the map one, Joe. Are you kidding me? Optic had a dream start to the grand final at MLG Anaheim against Crim6 and Karma's evil geniuses. A 5-1 lead in map 2 saw them cruising towards what should have been a sure victory. But as EG won round after round, things started to get interesting. It looks like he's going to poke he back did. a challenge. Oh. This time the player has dropped down. EG, such remarkable play, is going to make it a one on three. Scumpy, oh, last man standing. Scump is gonna have to do it again for his team. I mean, really, oh, he was he was really the reason that they were able to do game number one. Let's see if he can do it. Wow. No. What EG a comeback. Pulling oh, out five man. in a row Ooh. on Sovereign. Was that what I was gonna ask you? Was that what it was? Five wow. in a row? Underdogs Panda Gaming shocked everyone at CWL Atlanta 2018 after forcing Optic to a fifth map. The team, led by Fastballer and Profeezy, were on the brink of causing one of the biggest upsets in COD history. Profeezy has access to the payload. Does he elect to use it and confirm the victory for this round? Oh, he there did. There it is. The reactive armor comes into play. He wins the gunfight. Now Panda finds himself up 5-2. And still, they're going to come into this, what could be the final round, with more payload than Optic Gaming. Somehow, Optic brought the game back to a round 11. And it turned out to be a round that saved a dynasty. Q, one of the most tense 1v1s you will ever witness. The Scarab can come into play as well. Probably not the best thing to use in a one versus one. Fastball immediately rotating through that middle map area. We could have a gunfight coming down here to the side. Is it fastball spot Karma? That is the question. Oh, look. Karma's gonna be right on the other side of the wall. We can see it through X-ray. My heart is racing and Karma there it is, is gonna come out on top and take out fastball, eliminating Panda Gaming from the CWL Atlanta Open and advancing to play FaZe Clan. Completing a massive comeback in any tournament is one hell of an achievement, but to do it in the semi-finals of the biggest tournament of the year, that takes some serious talent. The MV squad proved why they were world champs as they mounted a mind-boggling comeback against the United after being 10-0 down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you? Away from me, away from me. Pass it, pass it. Camel, camel. He's back on the back. He's on me. He's one shot, he's one shot on you. He's two killed. Let's go! 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 No, 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 no. Let's go! 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 Let's I got one. Nice. 
Look away now, Greenwall, at MLG Fall Invitational 2013. Complexity needed one more map to take the trophy, but with Optic 5-0 up on Express Search and Destroy, a sixth map seemed inevitable. Well, he could find Optic flank shot over here, and if he picks up that kill, this will stop the throw streaks as they meet up here. It's gonna be Nate Shot coming out on the top. He's doing some serious work with that Scorpion as Optic Gaming go up 5-0. However, with a little help from a Crim6 1v3... So patient is Crim6, but he is going to be called out. Catch oh. Nate shot in, oh, in transition. One more player. Can Crim get the one on three? Oh, he's fighting him out. Oh, oh, Crim6! Six. Crim6 Crim six with the one on three clutch. Complexity stayed alive here on Express Search and Destroy. Complexity fought their way back and pulled off the unthinkable to take the top prize. Now a three on two. Nade Shot and Scuppy about to be pinched. The long flank is coming from Crim6, rotating all the way around. They're going to gonna check Step every up. single corner before pushing up. Oh, he sees him. He sees him in the middle of the ticket Ace will pick up that kill. It is all up to Nade Shot and a one on three. I think they were down, but they were up by five rounds. Crim6 takes it. Oh and my there God. You go. Complexity, come back. And they are your MLG Fall Invitational Champion! Subscribe to Deserto for more Call of Duty content.